Well, it's certainly a common enough feeling to have this sense of an overload of problems. There's one expression that can be used is having too many balls in the air, juggling all these priorities, these unsolved problems, these open to-do list items. There's like this cloud of things that I need to think about, things that I need to resolve. And it's easy for that to really weigh down on the mindset. I believe the ideal is to have this kind of open, almost empty mind where we can really be open to the present moment and what we are experiencing in the moment. And that's why it can be so helpful to do exercises that help to get us out of our head, out of the overthinking, and simply into feeling the body. So bringing everything to the immediate sensory experience of the moment and stepping out of the world of circling thoughts. And it seems like it doesn't take a very high number for it to start to become this oppressive cloud. Because it seems that we, the way our minds work is we can think about a small number of items at one time. Uh, I believe some people say, is it four to seven? Some kind of small handful of a number of things that we can keep thinking about and have in our short-term memory active in our minds to be able to process and think about and work on. And as soon as we get over that number, it just feels like overwhelm. Uh, just like the idea of juggling balls that, you know, even I, who I know knows nothing about juggling, I could sometimes maybe juggle two balls. And, you know, a proper basic juggler could juggle three. Uh, but once you get into higher numbers, it quickly becomes very difficult for even the best jugglers to be able to keep all those balls in the air. So the same kind of metaphor applies to thinking about things that we have to keep in mind, things that we're keep we're registering like, oh, I cannot think, I cannot forget about that. I must deal with that. I have to deal with this and that and that and that it really can quickly become too much. Even if each of the items is not some giant thing, just the fact of the number, just the fact of having this large number is enough to create this kind of overload. And even if it isn't full overload and overwhelm, even having a manageable number that's a little, still a bit too high takes away from our ability to be completely present in the moment and completely open to the experience of life. So it seems to me to be a very important and useful thing to be able to reduce this number. How can I reduce the number of things that I'm thinking about? It's almost like going backwards between what you imagine. It's almost like childlike to imagine going to this kind of simple state where you can really think about only one thing. Where it seems like this adult state is, you know, taking on more and more responsibilities and, you know, almost like proudly, there's, there's a certain pride to it in being able to juggle all these different things, you know, and I got, and there's, there's a certain kind of a feeling, you know, I got things going, I got this and that and that, and I'm, you know, I'm rolling everything, I got this, you know, all these different things, I'm keeping them going, keeping them going, just like the feeling of like cooking when you have like five different pots going at the same time and like you get into a, a roll. And so in those moments when it's on a roll, then it feels, feels pretty good. It feels like, wow, I'm getting a lot done. But, of course, we can't be cooking with five pots, you know, throughout our entire waking day, every day. Uh, and to those, to those uh, chefs that can do that, I can only salute the, the ability to, 
to do that uh, for such an extended period of time. Uh, because it's not, for most of us, it's not, we're not always going to be in that flow state of the happy juggling. It only takes one little thing being off, one pot too many, uh, or one ball too many of juggling, one pot on the stove too many uh, simultaneously for the cook, and the system can go from that kind of fun uh, juggling, keeping everything going, feeling, riding the chaos, managing the chaos, to simply exploding into chaos and everything quickly falling apart. So as much as that feeling of the multiple managing, keeping all these things going, that's, that, that can be a fun feeling. Um, but it seems to be very easy to go too far in that direction and into total chaos. So it seems to me like reducing the number of things that we have to think about is a very useful thing to do. And there's no shortage. There's certainly no shortage of possible things that we can think about. So in terms of being able to enjoy the fun of the chef on the stove with five pots, there's no danger of, you know, simplifying things too much. Uh, that would be, uh, you never have to worry about making things too simple because anytime you want to add complication, there's just instantly a huge menu of things that you could possibly take on new concerns, new responsibilities, new things to think about, new things to do. There's an overwhelming number of possible things. So all we need to do is bring it down to a manageable number. And then there'll be, we can still have all the multiple pots, multiple juggling balls, fun, and getting things done, and doing all this, and yet keeping it on the near side of chaos. Just, just enough of a number that we do not let the system fall into complete chaos. But I think for most of the time, you know, with the exception of the, the fun of this kind of multiple managing style, for most of the time, it's better to reduce the number even further to simplicity. And, you know, like a chef, you can almost imagine like a chef with one pot who is like, you know, completely focused on, like they say, like, uh, you know, you're making your risotto and you're like just m micromanaging it and just like almost like meditating on this one pot. Uh, and that can also be a very useful uh, metaphor for what we're doing because, yeah, if we're just making something we've made many times before and it's a routine, we can have multiple pots. But if we're cooking something for the first time, then it might be useful to simply focus on the one pot. Uh, so there seems to me to be really no danger in bringing the number down to low. And since it's so easy to bring back up, then that does not seem to be a problem. The problem seems to be that how many of us can say that we are cooking with five pots? It seems like it's more like 10, 20 pots going on. There's a pile of pots on the counter, uh, that, you know, ready to be cooked. There's new food coming in. Our, our inboxes are overflowing. Uh, new, new demands all the time. And I'm just thinking about ways to simply reduce the number. What can we do? And this is my question now uh, for everybody. And I'm going to be thinking about this myself. What can I do? What can be done to reduce the number of things 
that we need to think about. I want to be able to simplify it down to say, okay, this is my very short list of things I need to do right now. And now I can do them with full energy and focus. So time to move on to the next item in my list for today. And uh, we'll see how short this list can become.